Hey guys, Steph here. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time since I've been here, but now that I am a mom of four balancing a family of six and deck is now six months, which is crazy to believe. I wanted to come on and share with you guys everything that I am packing these days in my diaper bag. Before we jump in, I want to talk to you a little bit about the diaper bag that I'm currently carrying. I love this bag. It's comfortable. It's wipeable. It has so much storage. And in the very few times that we've been out lately, I have had so many compliments on it. For anyone who is not new here, you probably know that I am a huge fan of the City Collective formerly City Babies diaper bag collection. For the longest time, I carried my City Babies slash City Collective Explorer bag, which looks like these. This was the first City bag that I owned. I love it. As you can see, it has had its fair share of wear and tear. Once this one was pretty beat up, I decided it was time for a replacement and went ahead and grabbed the black one for kind of like a more modern, trendy look. So I love these bags. I do have another video with my City Babies Explorer bag that I will link below, but let's go ahead and dive right on into what is in my current City Collective diaper bag. Dun, 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 dun. Here she is. She's gorgeous. I love her. I carry it everywhere, even if we're not going anywhere. I always make sure it's in the car. It has everything I need in it, and I'm obsessed with it. Before we dive in, I wanna let you guys know that I have a blog post with everything that is in this bag linked. If you have any questions, or if there's anything out of this that you need or want for yourself, go ahead and hit that link below to hop right on over to my blog post on this. Okay, so one of the things I love most about this bag is not only the storage, the compartments, all of the pockets, the thermal pockets on the inside, but it comes with the vegan leather stroller hook. I don't know why it took us so long as like a society to start selling stroller hooks for our diaper bags. It also comes with this vegan leather coordinating changing mat. And I actually was not expecting it. I did not know that it came with that when I saw it online. So that was a huge bonus. This bag has one huge pocket on the bottom and then it's got two big pockets on both sides. And then it's got another really cool pocket back here. I usually keep like my phone in there or my debit card. So that's really nice. It's just kind of a slim pocket there for anything that you just need easy access to. I'm gonna go ahead and first show you everything I keep in the exterior pocket. So these side pockets and then the one in the bottom. In this bottom exterior pocket, I do keep a mesh bag with all of the boys' diapers and then the changing mat that comes with it. I love these mesh organizing bags. We keep them all over our house for all kinds of stuff, like boys board games, uh, army men, Lego, Hot Wheels cars for Lincoln, crayons, markers, you name it. We use these bags for everything. They really help to keep my life organized, but especially my diaper bag, for sure. And onto the exterior pocket, I keep, of course, hand sanitizer for myself and James, and then our favorite baby bum sanitizer for the kids. Okay, now onto the inside. Guys, there is so much room in this bag. I just seriously cannot believe I fit all this stuff in here. So, uh, but as a mom of four, many of you may know if you are a mom of multiples that it takes a lot of stuff to keep six people happy at all times, or at least for the majority of the time. In this top pocket right here, up underneath the flap, I only keep things that we really don't need too often, but keep just in case of an emergency, some extra disposable masks for the kids, and then of course, kids' medications, some electrolyte powder and a thermometer, and then my favorite essential oils, I just keep in there as well. In this hidden pocket back here, which I love. And then of course there's this little tether for a pacifier. So I keep an extra one in there for a deck just in case this drops on the floor or if we forget his. Now onto the main big pocket where I keep the majority of everything inside the bag. Florida summers, I always keep an umbrella handy, but I like to keep one either this size or a little bit smaller. I do have a Disney bag that is packed separate that we always have packed that has a little bit of a smaller umbrella, but this does come in handy. And I do keep some activities in here for the kids, also in these mesh pockets. So I've got some Brain Quest decks that we love, a couple different age groups there, and then some USA flashcards for my history buff, and some space flashcards because Colin loves to be quizzed and talk all things history and learning and all that stuff. So. I just try to keep stuff that will keep them entertained in case we're like out having a picnic somewhere or uh, we haven't really been going to restaurants, but 
in normal pre-COVID times, I keep stuff like this, as well as paint by sticker books, so water route books, and then some other activity books. And then another thing I like to keep, this is our Creative Cutie Slide Away Mini Pouch. Uh, this is really cool. You can keep all kinds of stuff in here, but we usually keep Legos. So they just slide out onto that mat. And then when you're done, no mess. They dump right back in. So the boys love when I bring this. Keep those on hand for them to keep them entertained. I keep snacks for the kids, especially Lincoln. And I have a little pouch here, another one of those mesh plastic organizing pouches that has all of Deck's food in it. And then we've got his spoon and some wet ones to wipe his spoon off once he's done eating. I keep my wallet with all of my stuff in there. Our favorite sun bum sunscreen lip balm. I've been using this stuff for years. If you're looking for a good lip balm, this one is my favorite. Some Clorox wipes. This is the last packet we have. So my plan is to just refill this with the ones that we have at home. Back during our Disney days, we would keep some silicone straws, which somehow have just become a staple in our diaper bag. They still come in handy. And then these little tiny Dixie cups. These I found at the Dollar Tree. I have kept them in our bag for years for um, like little snacks for the kids, especially when we would go to the theme parks, we would put like little popcorns in there or pretzel sticks that they can eat in the stroller. So I love these. These are just like, they're super cheap and they're super random, but they come in handy more than you would believe. The last couple things I keep are a nursing cover just in case. I haven't really needed to use this at all because we haven't really been anywhere. I do keep one pocket in my diaper backpack for all of like my stuff, my electronics, like my selfie stick, my GoPro and some other GoPro accessories, my AirPods, and then a pocket juice for my phone that is always dying or my GoPro that might need another boost of a charge. Sometimes I'll toss in a couple other things. I usually have a Bluetooth camera remote. The last thing that I keep in my diaper bag that I don't have in there right now is actually a change of clothes for our two little boys. Link isn't really having too many accidents right now, but just in case he does, I keep a backup pair of clothes for him in the bag, as well as a backup onesie or little t-shirt for a deck in case he has a blowout. And other than that, that is everything. That's it. That's everything. That's everything that this mama for keeps in her diaper bag to keep my entire family of six satisfied almost at all times. If there's anything in this video that you liked and want to check out for yourself, I have everything linked in my blog post. Head over to my blog at thehappeninghousewife.com or click the link below in the details of this video. Make sure to follow me over on Instagram at The Happening Housewife or find me on Facebook at The Happening Housewife as well as my blog, thehappeninghousewife.com. I will see you guys next time.